Thanks for purchasing your new dog training system, Pet998 DBB. We're now going to show you uh, what you received inside the box when you first get your package. Uh, this is the remote transmitter. Your two collar receivers. Uh, nylon straps. Uh, one orange, one black, just to let you know the difference between uh, channel 1 and channel 2. Uh, test light to test st uh, static shock. Two sets of contact points, one for each receiver. Um, and then this is your AC wall adapter. Uh, and this is your um, USB connector that goes in the bottom. And then this can actually go into this splitter, which then lets you charge uh, both your receiver and your transmitter at the same time. And then lastly is your product menu. When using a training collar, always remember to use it for training and not to leave it constantly on the dog. Uh, and these contact points on the receiver can cause injuries uh, like bed sores, or we refer to it as pressure narcosis. So always remember to uh, not use a training collar continuously like a normal dog collar, but just for training. Uh, now I will quickly show you how to pair your call receiver to your transmitter and then show you uh, the basic function of this unit. Uh, with this new 998DBB, uh, uh, we've changed a couple things. Uh, these are more readable and it's made out of silicone instead of plastic. Um, so I'll now show you how to pair the receiver to the uh, caller. So you start with by putting it on channel 1. Uh, I usually just switch to vibration mode but it doesn't matter. And then press and hold. Uh, the power button, you'll see a solid green light. And then when that begins to flash and beep like it did there, you just press the Y button on your remote and it'll beep again. It should now be paired, which it is. Uh, now to pair the second one, all you do is switch to, uh, press the 1-2 button and switch to channel 2. Do the exact same thing, turn it on and then press and hold the power button for 5 seconds. It beeps and then you press the Y button on your remote. And that's paired to channel 2, and this is paired to channel 2. Uh, now I'll show you uh, the functions. Uh, there were, there's a few functions. Uh, there's uh, First I'll show you the beep function, and then that's for the other receiver. Uh, the vibration for receiver 2, you just press the mode button, go to this uh, symbol here, and then obviously here again. Now the static shock. It, it's uh, currently at zero, so you want to move it off of zero by press using the dial on the side. Uh, just for an example, we'll put it to 10. As you can see, when you press the Y button, uh, the orange light flashes. Same with channel 2. This time it's on 100, so it'll be probably brighter and more solid. Uh, the last function, uh, there is a light. Uh, basically, by pressing this, it will make the light uh, blink on the receiver, as you can see there, with receiver number 2. Saver number one. And then there's also a light function on the top uh, for this LED light on top of the transmitter if you were looking for your dog or lost your keys or something like that. And that's all the functions of the system. Okay, I'm now going to show you uh, the waterproof capabilities of our receivers uh, by placing the receiver in the water and then uh, using it. Uh, we'll put it to the vibration mode. As you can see, it's vibrating before. Put it in the water and it's still vibrating while in the water. Uh, and now I'll show you by taking it out that the static, func static shock function still works even after being in the water. As you can see, the light is still going orange, indicating that static shock is working. That's it.